hello and welcome to wipe tutorials in this tutorial we're going to learn how the cancellation and disputes work with wipe appointments so a cancellation is essentially a booker requesting a cancellation of his appointment prior to the appointment has occurred whereas a dispute is the cancellation request of the booking post the appointment has occurred and these two are different cases and they are handled differently in vibe appointments so let's see how it works so first i'm going to log in as an instructor so here in the appointment section i will go to the manage slots and let's create a slot and this is going to be a slot from on 16th from 12 to 1 p.m. and this is going to be a multi-seat slot and let's save this slot so here we have this slot on 16th and it is not connected to any service so let's see what is the price so the price of this slot will be dollar 20 now let's see what happens so here we are logging in as a student and we go to the appointment section and we are going to find an instructor so here we can see our instructor and there is a slot on 16th at 12 and we're going to confirm the slot and complete the checkout So here our order is complete and now let's go back to the app screen and in the appointment section so we'll need to approve the order Here we can see that appointment number 80 is scheduled on 16th of December from 12 to 1. And here you can see we have the order and the activity and the message chain. And you can request a cancellation. Now let's book the same slot with another student to see how this scenario works in multiple seats. So here we are logged in as another student and we go to the appointment section. We find the instructor and since this is multiple seats, so we add the slot to the cart and then we and we'll approve the order in WooCommerce. So here you can see the order is complete and now when the instructor goes to the appointment section you'll see that there are two students who have booked this appointment and this is how the appointment works so here the message chain is, is this message chain is across all the users of the booking so to communicate on what all is happening so this is the student and this is our student another student and in the appointment spokings you can see that there are already uh, two users interacting and this is the third one so this is how uh, this entire works so let's see what happens when a student requests for cancellation so in the cancellation tab the user is able to request the cancellation because the meeting is scheduled for tomorrow and there is a 30 minute time limit which is 
set which means that the cancellation cannot be requested if the appointment is upcoming in next 30 minutes uh, the start time so in the cancellation the request can be sent to the instructor like this and when you switch again so you can see that the request is already sent and you, if you want to cancel the request for cancellation you can simply click on this cancel so important point to note is that since this particular student has sent the cancellation request only he will see the cancellation uh, request like this for the student who has not sent the cancellation request he will still see the request cancellation request cancellation button and for the uh, instructor in the appointments you can see that there is a cancellation request by uh, by this by a particular user and in the cancellation request you can see that there is this cancellation request and the cancellation request is by student one so let's just reject one of the cancellation so here the cancellation requests are 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 rejected and see that the cancellation request is rejected and he can again request a cancellation so this is the cancellation request feature and now let's see how the disputes feature work now what we are going to do is we're going to change our date and time right so we are going to change our date and time to to a time where the appointment has already passed since this appointment was off on december 16 we're going to set the date as 17 and now let's see so now we are going to reload this and here you can see that the booking is already complete and we should be we sh and we see this booking number 80 in the history and here the user can go to the and this is already complete now to raise a dispute the user will see a flag icon which was earlier not visible so user can click on this and write a dispute description so the user can raise a dispute using this flag and submit the dispute and it is going to be marked as disputed so whenever you reload the history you'll be able to clearly see that there is an there's a disputed booking in the user's history section similarly for the other user the appointment appears as finished and note that while this booking is disputed for user one it is not disputed for the other student who has booked the same appointment so the other user can again raise the dispute like this so before the other user raises a dispute let's just see what happens in instructor section so instructor will receive a cancellation request like this and when he goes into the cancellation request in the dispute section he is able to see that there is a dispute and the dispute is with student one so now what happens if another student raises a dispute right so again for this particular user also the appointment is marked as disputed and in the cancellation request the instructor now sees two bookings now these are not cancellation requests but these are disputes and each of them has a different channel so important thing to note is that once uh, student one's dispute channel is not displayed to the student two so the student will only see his disputed messages in the in the dispute and they'll and the instructor can communicate with the student on resolving the dispute another important point is that the administrator of the site will, will be able to see all the cancellation requests in the manage appointment cancellation request section and all the disputes will be available to at his pursual and he'll be able to communicate with the message chain so here the instructor and student can 
communicate share images and once the dispute is resolved or rejected the instructor can simply to take the action for example we are going to reject the student one's claim or the cancellation request is removed and in the dispute we should see only one dispute that is by the uh, student so here we are going to approve this dispute and let's see what happens so here we approve the dispute and the cancellation request is now removed from the from the uh, site let's see what happens on the admin administration side so here we are logged in as administration administrator and this is the order by the student and we are going to reload this so now here we can see that the order for the student one whose uh, refund request was whose dispute was approved has got a order note that administrator or instructor has approved the order for refund and the administrator can now refund the order then it's going to be a complete refund or a partial refund uh, it depends since this order was uh, a manual order so the refund will be required manually the user is going to get the money back and the dispute will be resolved so that's it from wipe tutorials thanks for watching